hey there one of these days i will do one of these videos where i don't look ridiculous <laughs> but it is what it is and when you say you're going to do something you just do it so today's video episode five we're going to talk a little bit about what it is about yourself that you need to change what is it that you need to get better at how do you feel about yourself when you're by yourself? What a great question that is. Someone asked me that once. How do you feel about yourself when you are by yourself? So I'm asking you guys, how do you feel about you when there's just you and there's no noise and there's no kids and there's no telly and there's no nothing going on, no phone, no music, just you by yourself. Well, number one, how often does that happen? How often do you allow yourself to create that time and space for you? And number two, how do you feel about you when there's just you? Because that is where you're at right now, isn't it? How do you feel about yourself when you're on your own? How do you feel about yourself when you're by yourself or you're not having to feel like you're having to pretend or having to create an image or perform in a particular way or whatever. If you feel comfortable and happy and content with who you are, when there's just you there, kind of think you've kind of made it. Because everything else doesn't really matter. Everything else is just smoke and mirrors. When you love who you are and you feel good about yourself when you're by yourself, you'll feel great about yourself when you're not by yourself too. When you're at work, when you're in your relationships, when you're with your family, when you're a parent, a daughter, a son, a brother, a sister, whatever. When you're with those, in those situations, when you're in those environments, if you're feeling good about yourself when you're by yourself, you'll feel good about yourself when you're in those experiences too. And if you don't feel good about yourself when you're by yourself, who's best place to change that? Is it me? Nope. Is it your partner? Is it your boss? Is it your friends? Is it the media? Is it the government? No, it's not any of those things or people. It's you. You are the best person to control how you feel about yourself when you're by yourself and to change anything that you, do, you need to change. So that's the other question. What is it about yourself? that you need to change to start to love yourself more. Whether it's your self-image, whether it's your self-confidence, whether it's your ability to finish something that you start, whether it's your ability to be a good friend, a good parent, a good wife, a good mother, a good father, a good brother, a good sister, whatever. And the way that I would start to do that, if you need to do that, is firstly to sit with the question. Like, allow yourself to have this conversation with yourself. What do I need to change? What do I need to get better at? What, do I, what areas do I need to develop? What do I need to look at? And really sit comfortably with that question in itself as a growth opportunity. And for me, one of the things I think really helps you to feel good about yourself when you're by yourself it's keeping your promises that you make to yourself. You know, when you say you're going to do something, that you do it. You say you're going to make the phone call. You make the phone call. You say you're going to take your children to the park. You take your children to the park. You say you're going to finish that job in the house. You finish that job in the house. You say you're going to find a new client. You find a new client. You say that you're going to lose weight. You're going to change your body shape. You lose weight, you change your body shape. You say you're going to go to the gym. You go to the gym and you don't make excuses for why you can't do that. And the biggest excuse that we make for not keeping our promises is, don't have time. Didn't have time, couldn't do it, ran out of time, I'm too busy. I want to really bust a myth and I'm going to talk about this more in tomorrow's episode. But you do have time. Everybody has time. Right? Some people talk about time management. You cannot actually manage time. Time's going to pass whatever we do, 
24 hours is 24 hours, whether you try and slow it down or speed it up. All you can manage is what you do in that time. How you utilise that time. And honestly, I promise you, if you are you uttering the words, I'm too busy, I don't have time, then you are very, very likely wasting a lot of time on insignificant things that don't matter. Watching TV, scrolling on the internet, scrolling on your Facebook, having pointless conversations, getting involved in drama, getting involved in debate, watching politics, chatting to people about other people. Just insignificant things that eat into your time and eat into your ability to be able to keep your promises to yourself. So the I'm too busy discussion, pop over to tomorrow's podcast, which will be episode six. And we'll talk about that a bit, a bit more. But trust me when I tell you this, you have all the time in the world to do all the things that you will, that you want to, but time passes. And if you want to feel good about yourself when you're by yourself, keep your promises to yourself. Because only you know whether you do the things you said you were going to do. Only you go to bed at night. When you choose to go to bed, by the way, you know whether you did the things you said you would do. You know if you kept your promises or not. You know if you achieved anything or not. You know if you went to the gym or not. You know if you did the run or not. You know if you ate the food you were supposed to eat or you didn't. You know if you made the phone call, spoke to the person, did the thing. You know. And it feels really good when you consistently keep your promises to yourself. And what ends up happening after day, after day, after day, after day of doing that consistently every day, day in, day out, 365 days a year, you will feel fantastic about yourself when you are by yourself. And when that happens, when you get to that point, which you will, you will become unstoppable. Don't struggle when you don't have to. Bye for now.